Cool, great stuff. So clarinet. So this this question here wants us to focus a bit more on going concern. And again, if you remember my first video, <clears throat> um, in terms of the reporting of going concern, the question really is, as long as there are disclosures, I mean, we're going to have a modified report. We might have an okay opinion and a modified opinion, as long as, if you like, there is a section for, um, if you like, going concern issues as long as they've disclosed. So that's kind of the context in which you're looking at this. But of course you want to investigate. So you always want to kind of, I think the first question asks you, um, discuss, if you like, I think that, let's just go to the question. I think I saw the, A was, let's go here, A, um, A was asking you, um, procedures to address um, a certain uncorrected misstatement. So you've done you've done what it, what you would expect. You would inquire. You would um, carry out some tests. So you, you if you like, you're comparing to materiality, discussing with management the potential misstatement, and I think it was an inventory point. But um, and, and and because this is really about whether or not we're happy to accept the level of error. Now here they're looking. We're looking at the evidence of going concern threats and everything you've written makes sense and that's kind of the it's just a big picture approach isn't it you have everything it's it's almost like a, a risk analysis case you know that's a major supplier sees trade and that's what you've done shareholders decline further there's an overdraft issue so they're giving you enough evidence to tell you that the future is bleak um and then of course in terms of audit procedures we want to really know what's going on first of all um, and like you say, it's just everything. It's just now uh, just collecting the evidence on those on those events, and that's what you're doing there. So I mean, you, you you're happy with this. It's good. And then in terms of the impact, it's exactly what I said earlier on. As long as they're willing to um, to to make those disclosures, then you need to. The, the opinion is unmodified, but the report is modified. Material uncertainty relating to going concern. And then you have that discussion. And if the, if they're not disclosing that, then of course we can give um, a qualified or adverse. And that's how you should discuss this. It's it's less about um, whether or not it's qualified or adverse, because to a certain extent it depends on the number of issues. But really, when sorry, not that it depends on the number of issues. It depends on the fact that the, the well, it does. But also it depends on the fact that there's no disclosure, that this disclosure is absent. So you're saying you could be saying everything is true, except for um, the fact that this disclosure hasn't been made but that de depends on maybe it's just a one one thing maybe one supplier i don't know but you might feel that actually this is adverse and you just think no this is not true and fair adverse so it, it but that's what you want to discuss it's not about right or wrong you want to talk about that and that that's what the examiner is hoping to look for hoping to see cool good stuff here as well well done